Hello everyone, for my section three book, I chose to talk about Ramona and her father. So to begin with, we're gonna start with a summary. The book Ramona and Her Father, written by Beverly Clearly and illustrated by Jacqueline Rogers, is about four main characters. The four main characters are Ramona Quimby, Beezus Quimby, Mr. Quimby, and Miss Quimby. Ramona is a second grader and Beezus is a seventh grader. The mom was at one point a part-time worker working in a hospital that so that she could afford the new room that they just added into their house. The dad was a full-time worker who helped pay for little supplies like gifts and food and also helped to pay for the rest of the bills that needed to be paid for. One day, life goes unexpectedly down for this family. The father comes home and the children are eager to ask him to take them to go grab a Whopper burger. Instead, what they got is a frustrated dad and leftovers for dinner. The overall plot to this story is that the father lost his job and the children, Ramona especially, are doing whatever they could to try to make their family happy again. Ramona does her best to get her dad to quit smoking and tries to come up with ways to get money for their family so that they can all be happy again. All right, so now I would like to move on to visuals. This book did not contain too many visuals, but based on what I saw, they were mainly black and white, except for the cover photo, which was green, white, black, gray, and tan. The other photos were not too detailed and looked sketched enough to be able to tell what's going on. It was definitely enough for children to understand, and with the very few photos, I believe it will help second to fourth graders transition out of picture books and onto books with little to no pictures at all. Okay, so as for the identification of the genre, the book Ramona and Her Father falls under children's literature, fiction, and novel. It is children's literature because it is describing a child's life and the unfortunate events that take place in it. It is appropriate for children and it's written specifically so that children ha can have a feel for other people's lives. It is fiction because it is a short story that doesn't involve real characters and the whole story doesn't pl take place in real life and was all made up. So moving on to a direct quote from my book. One direct quote from this book that I enjoyed is, No family is perfect. Get that idea out of your head and nobody is perfect either. All we can do is work at it and we do. I really enjoyed this quote because I believe to me it was relatable. I think that this is something we all need to hear, especially children because oftentimes we want everything to be perfect. It is relatable because I feel like I catch myself sometimes trying to be this perfect perfect person and then I have to remind myself that no one is perfect and that it's okay to make mistakes and that it's okay for things to go wrong every once in a while. And because sometimes in the end, it ends up working out. I just feel like children are really gonna appreciate this quote and I'm glad that the author included this quote because I feel like they definitely do need to be reminded very often that nothing is going to be perfect, especially them. And I feel like they have to understand that even though there are family problems, they are not the problem. And I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's nice that the author mentioned that. So as for the strengths and weaknesses in this book, the strengths in this book that they provided us with were emotional development, like the ability for a second and fourth grader to be able to develop empathy and the ability to see things from someone else's point of view. As for social, it showed us how team membership was important because, for instance, in this book, the family had to work together to get money or to find ways to solve problems. It also showed us cognitive development, like understanding cause and effect. While reading this book, the students should be able to establish the effect that Mr. Quimby gave off when he lost his job. I don't feel like there were any weaknesses in this book. I do have to say, though, that this story was quite easy to understand and, the, and that the language was easy enough for sec, a second to fourth grader to understand. All right, so the last question is, how could this book be used in a classroom setting? First, I would like to print out a sheet that is labeled character traits with the four main characters' names. I would ask them to write down the character traits, and then I would ask them to provide textual evidence to support that. The next activity I would like them to do is a lessons learned activity. Throughout this book, there were multiple lessons learned. Therefore, I would have the character's names written down and to the right of it, they would write down what they thought were some lessons learned. I think that both of these activities will let me know exactly how much they comprehended. And overall, I feel like this book is an excellent book to have in my classroom and I will be using it in the future with the activities provided. I would also like to add one more activity, which would relate to cognitive development. It would be a cause and effect sheet, which would have causes written down, several examples, and then I would have effects on the other side, but they would have to match every, each and every single one to the cause. So 
For me, that'll let me know if they actually understood what they were reading. So this was my first time reading this book. I personally enjoyed it and I will have it out in my classroom for the future. I feel like I'll have it out because I, I don't know, I feel like this is a great book for children. I feel like a lot of children sometimes, often they are going through family problems and they feel like they're the problem. So with this book, obviously it's going to let them know that in the end, they're going to be happy eventually. And whatever they're going through, it's just something little that they're going to get through. And as a team, if they work together as a family, they can get through anything. So I definitely feel like a lot of children will be able to relate to this book. And I feel like it'll comfort them in a way. So that's what's that's what I enjoy about the book.